Hello, fellow Switch bargain hunters. How are you doing? I'm James Zamero here at Switchwatch. Every week, we jump in and scour the eShop to help find the best deals, the bargains that are truly worth you picking up on sale across the UK, EU, and US eShops. If you're wondering where we've been, well, myself and Juan unfortunately have had COVID, but I'm delighted that we are all better. A massive thank you to Jordan for holding the fort down and to everyone who sent us some nice well wishes. Thank you very much. Now, without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at this week's deals. It's great to be back. Kicking things off, and yes, it's a great game, Streets of Rage 4. All of these years later, and the simple and satisfying beat-em-up arcade action still works, Axel and Blaze are back, as well as some nice new crew members, some younger ones. Each of the characters has their own set of moves, complete with a star move that tears through goons and a special move that takes a chunk out of your own health. The action is frantic and manages to balance bashing those buttons with chaining together calculated combos really well. When you unleash a special, you can recover the lost health if you follow up with a well-executed combo or catch your weapons, for example. It's cheesy, the story is thin, but who cares? We're here to smash up those enemies with a backdrop of banging tunes, and they really are superb, as well as glorious visuals in a brilliant style. The level designs are solid and include some variation. There's a moving train, for example. It's a real trip down memory lane whilst bringing something new together, and that's why it's my pick of the week. Juan, Jordan, what about you guys? How you doing, James? How you doing, everybody? This week, I'm choosing Celeste as it's a fantastic platforming masterpiece, in my opinion. It's a narrative-driven game that features over 600 screens of tricky platforming gameplay, and everything from this, from the tight control to the sublime soundtrack, hits the right nose. I love the visuals, too, with this sublime art style. Though people had reservations, once you start to play it, you'll definitely fall in love with this. And I love the fact that when you do complete the game, you can try the B-side levels for an even sterner challenge. This has a huge discount right now, and if you haven't picked it up yet, for this price, you cannot miss it. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks, everyone. See you next week. How you doing, everyone? It's Jordan here, back for some bargains. Now, I am currently in a creepy-ass abandoned sort of tourist site in China and yeah so I'm feeling a little creeped out right now it's uh it's super eerie uh, so for my bargain of the week I have got to go with the amnesia collection now this is an incredible bargain in the US it is 90% off it is now $2.99 which for three excellent incredible horror games I mean it, it, like I could not resist it as soon as I saw it I bought it I used some gold coins and some leftover wallet money and I bought it I played the first one before it's fantastic on an old ass laptop many moons ago but uh, yeah I'm looking forward to playing it again and the two other games uh, machine for pigs and uh, what's the other one called Justine right and so yeah uh, it's not currently on sale uh, in Europe but hopefully it will be soon uh, but yeah, even if it's not, you should go to the US store and buy it because two ninety nine is just, it's incredible value for money. So uh, yeah, there's, there's some guy spooking me out from behind here. So uh, yeah, maybe I will uh, get murdered or something in this creepy ass place. Uh, buy Amnesia. Thanks very much, guys. Great picks there. Although Jordan, I have to say, it does look a lot like you're hanging around a pretty dodgy red light district. Anyway, moving on. Up next, Aviary Attorney is no poultry title, sorry. It is a witty courtroom adventure in the style of the Ace Attorney series. It doesn't quite reach that lofty perch, but nevertheless, it's really well written, full of wit, and has a nice style about it. If you love that series, then I would highly recommend trying this one out as well. Summer in Mara is a laid back farming sim adventure game that has bags of charm, looks lovely, and runs really well on the Switch. With all that said, it doesn't quite get the gameplay addictive shine that other games in this category have, but nevertheless, if you're after a chilled game, this definitely might be for you. I've talked about this one a couple of times before. It did catch me by surprise originally, but by now it is no surprise to anyone. I don't think I picked it up when it went on sale before, and I played this one with my girlfriend loads. It's 
Not a bad game when played solo, but it's really great when you play it together in local co-op. The goal is to serve up dishes by collaborating. It's one of those where one of you has to take on some of the tasks like chopping, whilst the others prepare food and they serve it. It's simple at first, but it gets complex really, really quickly, and it leads to some genuinely tense and hilarious moments. You can play locally with up to four players as well as online, and with 50% off, I strongly recommend this one. From the maker of the superb cave story, Carry Blaster is a pixelated platformer shooter that reminds me of Contra and that era of gaming, well probably even older to be honest. At a time when most platformers being released are procedurally generated, it's ironically refreshing to have a well crafted and thought out level based game and it's a solid pick this one. It's short at probably only 3 or 4 hours but at this price it's worth it and you will enjoy it from start to finish as you get stronger. If bullet hell shmups are your thing and you haven't tried Dan Maku Unlimited 3 then this is a very simple explanation. It's one of the best there is on the Switch and it currently has 50% off so pick it up. Everything you expect is here. Tape mode, bright visuals with a hell of a lot of bullets and baddies on screen all the time, banging tunes and there is also the nice addition of different difficulty levels, something which is not at all that common and allows a wider audience to enjoy the game, something that I personally think is a good idea. As the light bearer, your quest is to walk the legendary path of light and explore an ancient and beautiful world. In Archaica, the light is the key to open the secrets of this mysterious civilization. You have to understand how various devices work to manipulate the lasers and direct them into the right triggers. It's a clever puzzle game that will feel familiar to you and is still enjoyable at the same time. Terry Kavanagh has a knack for making simple and addictive, punishing games like Super Hexagon and this time he's taking things in a different direction. Dicey Dungeons is a roguelike deck building game with a lot of randomness thrown in for good measure. As a giant die, you take on Lady Luck, putting your strategy against the roll of the dice as you level up, get loot and unlock new characters. The game is slick and the soundtrack is fantastic. It's a title that you will enjoy a lot more than you think in my opinion. Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Now there's a title that you wouldn't expect. This Lovecraftian Eldritch inspired game is a JRPG parody with solid gameplay and excellent dialogue. The mechanics and combat are decent without being too taxing. You can enjoy this one and complete it in around 5 hours for less than £2.50 with 80% off right now. It's very, very well priced and I think it's going to impress a lot of people if you've not tried this one. The Way is a cinematic platforming adventure game originally from Puzzling Dream. It was released a little while ago on Steam, but thanks to Sonka, it's been remastered and published on the Nintendo Switch, with an aim to hark back to classic games such as Flashback and Another World with modern integrations. We did experience some bugs when this first came out, but to be fair, the team over there have made some fixes, and with 93% off, it's less than a pound, now is a great time to buy. Drawndron is a papercraft first-person dungeon crawler. It's not massively complicated with its simple gameplay and procedurally generated dungeons to explore. It's both basic and quite cool, but it's not going to set your world on fire. Then again, at this price, it's worth checking out if you enjoy dungeon diving games. You might remember the original Wild Guns from the SNES. It was a brilliant shooting gallery title in a Western setting, a genre that we don't see too often these days. Fast forward and this reloaded version both honors the original whilst adding a decent amount of content, getting the balance just right. Yes, this one hits the Goldilocks zone. In fact, you can play with the original graphics example, but the makeover is lovely. It also adds a few new stages and characters as well as expanding the multiplayer up to four players and it's got a solid 50% off at the moment. Sparklight is an action adventure game that takes place in the wonderful world of Geodia. Yes, in this one there's amazing pixel art and a wonderful soundtrack produced by none other than Dale North himself. The game contains five unique and procedurally generated biomes to explore. Each one is loads of fun and the game's been updated quite a bit over the last period of time. It's a great time to dive in if you don't own this one already. 
The Survivalist is very much the type of game we expect from Team 17, an indie, quirky, top-down survival game with lots to do and try. We have a team of trusty monkeys to help you build your defenses against invading orcs, dungeons to raid, and all manner of tools and weapons to craft on your island. The game has a laid-back vibe, which is unusual and refreshing compared to the usual bleak survival games that are out there. Call of Juarez is a first-person western shooter on the Switch and you get to visit mines and saloons with a real focus and homage to the Wild West tales. You are a ruthless bounty hunter on the trail of notorious outlaws. What I liked about this game is the fact that it's western and I can't think of a much better setting than that where you get to become a gunslinger in mastering your weapons, unleashing some cool and lethal combos in this adventure. If you like motion controls then you are in luck as this has that option as well. This features on our top Switch FPS list, and with 50% off, it's a really solid pick. Pod is a lovely and charming co-op game where you need to work together to progress through a bunch of levels. The soundtrack is a particular highlight here, and it's got a nice balance between being tricky and not being too tough. It has 50% off at the minute, so it's a good time to pick this up if you want a game to enjoy with a family member or a friend. Nosia is a visual novel with RPG elements set on a spaceship where at least one crew member is up to no good. Yes, this takes cues from Among Us and classic sci-fi movies at the same time. It manages to do all this and yet be quite original at the same time. I really like the way it looks as well. There is a time loop mechanic that means you will always be on your toes with each character and the writing is excellent. It really elevates this tale to something great as a result, and that's the standout feature here. Down in Bermuda is an intriguing short puzzle adventure with a charming tale and character. Having crash landed into this mysterious region 30 years ago, you have been surviving on this desert island since then. Fast forward, and as an elderly man, you decide it's time to get back and set off to do so. Your journey takes you across six different islands for around about four hours from start to finish. Mostly, you need to look around beautifully drawn areas to find gems, a bit like Where's Wally. There are some mini games thrown in and a pleasant soundtrack as well. At full price, it is quite steep to be honest, but with 70% off, it is much more palatable. Now last and by no means least, yes, it's the beautiful Ni no Kuni. This is a charming tale that unfolds through the use of animation storyboarded and created by the legendary studio Ghibli probably going to be told that I've said that very wrong and music composed by the renowned Joe Hisashi. Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch combines beautifully animated visuals, masterful storytelling and a sweeping score to create an epic role-playing adventure like no other which blew Juan away when he reviewed it. You can check that out by clicking up at the top right hand corner. And there you have it folks, it's great to be back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you did enjoy this video and we will be back tomorrow with Jordan's roundup of this week's physical releases. We've also got a few more videos in store for you. So do keep an eye out and stop by once again. Thanks very much everyone. I hope you have a great week. Until the next time, take care.